and welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you how to import this model into Game Maker Studio like so. So to start out you're going to need to download two things. One of them is TDM-GCC. This is a C compiler for Windows. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and download the 64-bit version. Second thing you'll get, you're going to need to download is called Vox2PNG. This program will basically take um, magic voxel uh, objects and turn them into a PNG image. So I'm going to go ahead and download that now. Once you've got those downloaded, you're going to want to bring them to your desktop and you're going to want to install the TDM-GCC. Uh, I've already installed it, so this is going to look completely different. Um, I'm not even going to go through the whole process, but I'm sure you know how to install something. So once you've installed that, you're going to want to extract this to your desktop. So once you have the C compiler installed and you've, ec you've extracted this to your desktop, we're going to need to get a magic voxel file. So I went in and I opened up this uh, building or whatever this is. It's just called Manu1. And I'm going to go ahead and save this on my desktop as building. Now that I've saved this as building, I'm going to go ahead and put it into this folder. Here's what this folder looks like. So I have my building.vox file in there, and then there's all this stuff. Once you've uh, put your building.vox file in there, you're going to want to navigate to it in command prompt. So cd desktop cd vox to png dash master. So now I'm in the folder for this and you're going to want to uh, compile the program so gcc vox to png dot c so this is going to compile this code right here into a program and i already have it right here so now that you have that you're going to want to run this so we're going to do vox to png and uh, then we're going to put our file name, so building.box. Then we're going to put the output type. So I'm going to do output space multi file. And that will output into separate PNG images. So if I press enter, it'll write the PNGs. And now we have all of these uh, images for each layer of our model. So once we have that, uh, we're going to go into Game Maker Studio and we're going to make a script. This is going to be the script for drawing the object on screen. We're going to call it script draw 3D. And then I'm going to take some code from this tutorial, which I'll also link in the description. This basically creates an effect where you draw uh, layers of a sprite on top of each other and it looks like it's 3D. So we're going to paste this into Game Maker and that'll be our script for drawing. Then we're going to create a sprite. We'll name this S Building. We're also going to need an object, O Building. Now we're going to go ahead and import all of those images that we uh, exported in the Fox to PNG engine. And we're just gonna select all those and move them in. Uh, I like to make sure that all of my numbers are in order. See it put output 114 right here. I'm just gonna delete that and I'll add it later. So now you can see all of our uh, images are imported into a sprite. Next, what you're going to want to do is go to the building object, uh, set up a draw event, draw 
we're going to use the script, so script draw 3D. That's just going to be empty. And then we're going to just set up a simple rotation thing with the mouse. So if mouse check button, mouse button left. So this will check if the left mouse button is being held down. And then we're going to just change the image angle based on where the mouse's X position is. Once we have all that, that's all the code we need in the uh, building object. So we're gonna go ahead and open up our room. I just have a standard room set up already here with uh, width of 320, height of 240, using a viewport zero. And I'm scaling it up to 1280 by 720 just so we can see what's going on. So we're just gonna take this building object and put it right in the center. And then we should be all good to run this and see what it looks like. So I actually wrote this wrong. I just put windows on accident. It's window underscore mouse underscore get X. And now we should be able to run it. Oh. One more thing, uh, make sure that you have the origin in middle center so we can rotate it properly later. So now we have it in the room and we can rotate it around and see our 3D object. Uh, imported into Game Maker. I hope this tutorial helped you out. Let me know if you have any problems and I'll try to help you out as best as I can. See you next time.